there's there's definitely ghosts in here. Like there definitely is. <laughs> Hey peoples and welcome back to my channel Gabapetic. So as you can see from the title this is a kind of different style video from my last Halloween video in the series. I hope you've been enjoying the series so far. I've loved filming all the Halloween videos and I'll link them all in the description down below to have a look at. There's the Halloween haul, the baking videos and my birthday. So I hope you enjoyed that. But for today it's a bit different. I'm gonna spend 24 hours in the most haunted village in the UK. So Pluckley is the name of this village. It's in the Guinness Book of Records for the most haunted village in the UK. It supposedly has 12 ghosts. So I'm gonna go there. It's not too far, so I'm gonna drive. I'm gonna see all these freaky places that these ghosts supposedly are. I don't know if I believe in it exactly, but we'll see what happens. And yeah, I got my ghost hunting hat on from Sheen that you saw in my Halloween haul video. And I'm excited to see what happens. Hopefully it won't be too freaky, but maybe we'll see something supernatural, who knows, but uh, let's go start the vlog. Okay, so we've just arrived at Pluckley and we're gonna go and look around the town and see the haunted places. But first, I'm gonna check my blood sugar because who knows what these scary ghosts could do to my blood sugar, you know? So I've gotta see where I'm starting off with. Okay, so blood sugar is 5.3, so that's perfect. On first glance, it doesn't look too spooky, but let's go in and see what things are like. So this is the first stop, it's St. Nicholas of Pluckley Church and there's a graveyard around and it looks pretty spooky so let's go take a look. There's like really creepy crows all on the top of the steeple of the tree. So the story of this church of St. Nicholas is basically that the Daring family, who were the main family of importance in Pluckley, were buried in this graveyard in St. Nicholas Church. There's been many sightings of Lady Daring who was buried here as well and there's also been sightings of a red rose which was supposedly placed on top of her final resting place. Also many people have seen a strange light in the upper section of the window of the church and the sound of knocking coming from the Daring family vault which is also in the graveyard. A bit creepy but not too bad. I think it would definitely be more scary if I was here at night time though. This is like right behind the graveyard. There's more apples. <laughs> Bit weird. There's just a half eaten one right there. <laughs> so obviously someone's creeping around here too. What if it's a poison apple? <laughs> what if I try it and it's poison? I'm not gonna try it, let's go. It's too weird. <laughs> so, just arrived at the Airbnb that I'm staying at and it's called the Bamboo Lodge and it looks really good. Come in here, it's like so modern and the host was really nice and he even got this gluten-free bread and some gluten-free cereal, but this one is unreal. If you've never had to get this one, because it's so good. And um, this is the main room in here. So that was the kitchen downstairs, but this is, Probably where I spend the most time. It looks, it's really big, it's huge. It has TV, internet, bed, everything. And then it also has this really cute little stove here. Maybe I'll toast some gluten free marshmallows on there, that would be really good. And then outside they have a lake, and then all of the bamboo, so that's why it's called the Bamboo Lodge. But it looks really good, so we're just gonna. 
stay here for a little bit and then go out and do some more ghost something. I just want to show you guys as well. So over there, if you can see that white house, I'll zoom in a second so you know what I mean. This house here is called Greystone. So you can see that it's right outside where we are staying. But this house is said to be haunted by a monk. And he supposedly walks among the trees. <laughs> so is he going to walk over to where we're staying? Okay, so basically... He was a monk that lived around here in Tudor times and he was in love with a daughter of a neighbouring property and he fell in love with her but it was unrequited love. So she died under tragic circumstances and he used to walk among the trees. He actually died of a broken heart so his ghost is said to walk among these trees. So yeah, wondering if we will see him anywhere but that's kind of creepy to know that he was just right around here that... He's supposedly been spotted. So this is Pinnock Bridge. There's a gypsy woman that used to sell watercress and she'd sit around the bridge and smoke her pipe and drink gin. And then what the story says is that one day she fell asleep and all her clothes lit on fire and she burnt to death and her ghost supposedly is here haunting. So I don't know, it's a bit creepy because there's like a river right under here. And if I sit here, some ghost's gonna come haunt me. I don't want to sit here, but I'll just sit here for one sec. I don't know. There's really creepy trees over there as well. They're like spaced out and on their own completely. There's just weird really vibes knowing that someone was here and went on fire. So I don't really want to sit here for that long. Also, there's like weird vibrations in the water down there. So I hope that's fish. <laughs> because I don't know what that is and I don't want to stay there for that long. So it wasn't like scary experience but it's just weird like the trees look really weird and it's just really creepy around there and because it's getting dark as well but i think the next place is gonna be even worse because it's called the screaming woods so we're gonna <laughs> drive there now i feel nice and safe in the car i don't know if i want to go but i think we'll go and see what happens so we're here at screaming woods which is also called daring wood and as you can see it's closed so it's been locked off so we're gonna have to try and go under the gate and sneak in but it's really quiet right now there's literally no one around there's no cars it's getting dark so we're gonna sneak in and see what we find the car park's closed but the woods itself is open so we're gonna just uh, and like the perfect height let's go just walked a little bit in and I just wanted to stop and talk a bit about the place for a second. So the reason it's called the Screaming Wood is because people have supposedly heard screams from inside the forest, deep in the forest, and then there's been like birds and animals like, flying and running away from it. So supposedly if you're walking and you hear a really loud scream, that's a ghost and you'll see like birds flying away. So <laughs> I don't know if I want to see that. It's starting to get dark. It's like half six. So the sun is definitely setting, so the further we go in, the more dark it'll be. So let's go. <laughs> there's weird, weird noises, like, I don't know, like there's noise of traffic, that's fine, but then there's also like, what would you even describe it as? There's just weird noises. I don't know if they're animals or what they are, but it's just a bit creepy. <laughs> is this the part where I <laughs> just run away from the vlog? So yeah, this is my channel. This is an extra special video. I love Halloween, um, but this is kind of pretty scary. I don't know, it was much scarier than I thought it would be. So yeah, if you found this video and you're watching it for the first time, I'm type 1 diabetic and celiac. So I do lots of different videos of just my life with those conditions. And this is part of my life, this creepy video. So I hope you enjoy. And if you're new here, subscribe and like the video and comment down below your favorite part. But um, creepy fallen tree over here. And the further we go in, you probably can't tell, but the path is just changing from no path into grass down there as well. <laughs> There's really, okay, okay. I'm not just like, trying to do this for the video there's actually really 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 weird noise be quiet we might hear it <laughs> i'm getting properly scared like that's a joke 
I haven't put in any clip or anything. There's just like a noise of like a person shouting out loud. I thought it sounded like a... Like a wolf, oh like screaming. Okay, so the cameraman <laughs> thinks it's a wolf. I thought I heard someone shout. It stopped now. Will we go on? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll go on a little bit. I don't... I don't know how much longer I can be in here. It's really weird. That was definitely a really weird noise. I thought I heard a bat there. Yeah, there's supposedly bats in here as well. So that's fun. I'm gonna stop here. Like we're at the crossroads. I'm just getting really freaked out. I just feel- oh my god, what? Wait, I thought I saw like, down that way, look like a shadow like real down at the end. I don't know, maybe there is people here, I don't know. But I'm not the one being <laughs> lost in here, because if you spin the camera around, you'll see that it's just going in all directions. I'm not getting- I'm not, 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 not getting lost in here. I wanted to go back, but we'll keep going. Okay, so I'm about to do my blood sugar. I feel- Real scared, so I don't know if it's going to be high or low. We're 8.4, bit higher than normal, because it was like 4 when I left. So, it must be the fear bringing it up. So muddy here. There's, there's definitely ghosts in here. Like, there definitely is. Oh god. This part is really creepy. You can see how deep and dark it is inside in there and it's getting really dark as well. And there's just a really spooky, creepy atmosphere. Like there's just weird sounds. There's no other people. Well, I hope. Um, it's just really dark and it's really scary. And the path is not a path anymore. It's just mud and grass. And we definitely shouldn't be here and I don't like it anymore. So I'm gonna run because I'm just getting really creeped out. No, I don't like it. <laughs> There's too many weird things. I just want to go home. <laughs> okay, it's getting really dark, as you can tell. Um, we're right at the end. So that was the Screaming Woods. It's really, really cute. <laughs> it's really, really creepy. You can see that I literally ran at the end because it's just really weird vibes, really weird sounds, no people like visitors like us I'm just really really creepy so I'm really glad to leave because it's so dark so let's go on to the next part of the vlog so after that horribleness in the woods <laughs> we're going for dinner at this place here it's called the rose and crown and I will show you guys some of the nice food we get hopefully there's really nice gluten-free food <laughs> just to chill out for the rest of the evening see if any ghosts are spotted walking around the house um, I'll keep my camera on in case but um, yeah, I'm going to eat my little chocolate ghost and watch a scary movie I think so oh and I also got a gluten free carrot cake to have because I couldn't have any dessert in the other place that we were in they didn't have any left which was sad but I have some treats to keep going um, so taking off all my makeup I'm gonna go watch a movie and go to bed and see if there's any ghosts that we hear throughout the night but if not I'll catch up with you guys in the morning good morning so it's like 8 a.m. I just woke up um, I did wake up at 4 a.m. with high blood sugar of like really high because of some of the sweets that I had last night 
So when I woke up then, I didn't see anything creepy around, so it seems like it's safe to say that this place is not haunted where I'm staying at, at least. And I'm just having some breakfast now, straws and yogurt, and I'll take some insulin, and then I'm gonna go out and maybe see if we can see any haunted ghosts around that Greystones place. This is the road here into where like we were staying. This is the house, Greystones. And that's it there. So yeah, that's where the monk used to live. Luckily, I didn't see any monks haunting the place. So that's Greystone. So that's how close it is to where we're staying, literally just around the corner. So I'm glad I didn't see any ghosts haunting the place last night or I would have like just drove out there straight away. So yeah, that was 24 hours in the UK's most haunted village, Pluckley. So we saw the main spots. Obviously, the Screaming Woods was very scary. And then we saw places like the church, Greystones and the haunted pub. I didn't see anything around there. I didn't spot any ghosts, but definitely the screaming woods had a really eerie, spooky vibe, and it was very strange. So um, it was fun, but I'll be glad to leave as well. And yeah, thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like this video. And if you're new here, please subscribe. And I hope you liked my Halloween series, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.